Many of us have never been behind the gates of Rancho Santa Fe, nor have we been inside a multi-million dollar mansion. But real estate broker and expert Michael Gaddis is talking about the difference between selling one of those incredible homes and how he uses those marketing tactics to sell all homes. Michael Gaddis, thanks so much for coming in this morning. We do appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me. Let's talk about one of your latest listings. You just landed in Rancho Santa Fe. Yes, I have a listing at uh, 15406 El Camino Real in the Western Covenant of Rancho Santa Fe. So I'd love to see inside this home, and I'd love to be a looky-loo inside the home, knowing that I could never afford something like this. What does it take in order to market a home of this stature and this nature? Well, when you get listings of this nature, you can't market it the same way that you can market, you know, uh, you know, entry level or medium home, medium level homes. You have to really, really pull out all the stops. This is this the home right here? Are we taking a look at the listing right here? Yes, that's it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Wow. Okay. Tell me about this marketing 101 when it comes to luxury homes. How do you get started? How do you get the word out with the people that actually can't afford this price point? Well, the, one of the issues with marketing high-end homes is that the pool of buyers is so much smaller. There's not a lot of people who can qualify who can afford to buy a $5 million plus dollar home. So what you have to do is you have to get the word out. And the basic way to do it, since your pool of, of buyers is comprised globally, not just locally, right. it's on the Internet. You have to do, have a very strong Internet presence. And so in making sure that a home like this really stands out among the other homes in this price point, obviously you've hired a professional photographer here. Oh, you have to. Not only that, but we have a professional web designer who creates an, the, an, an individual website specifically for this house because the MLS and the other things do not allow you to put as much information as I can on an individual website. What does it take to calculate how much you would even list a property like this for? It goes, there's a lot that goes into it because what you have to do is you have to kind of assess the house to determine you know, what features it has and then from there try to determine what price bracket it should go to. You can't comp these houses out at kind of like you do in track homes. So you have to, it's a, it's a more sophisticated approach to trying to price it out. It's not just what the most recent neighbor sold their house for. It takes so much more in order to figure this out. Now, I was asking you during the commercial break, um, if I were to list my house with you, I'd want to feel like a multi-million dollar client, even though that's certainly not the price range that my home is in. How do you make sure that your marketing tactics for all of your clients across the board cover everything? Well, what I do is I use the same tactics that I use for these multi-million dollar houses on houses that aren't quite as much. And, and it works really well because a lot of the things that I do for this house, per se, would work wondrous for you. I mean, giving you an individual website, doing very specific types of open houses, not just your traditional open house where you throw a few signs up. We do invitation-only type um, open houses, make it look really upscale. It's, it's really nice. It's really nice in order to go uh, across the gamut. No matter what your price point is, he's making sure that you feel like the multi-million dollar client in the home that we just showed you. One of the things I always wonder with these homes behind the big gates in Rancho Santa Fe, how do you make sure that you don't get people walking through their home, sort of invading their privacy that really have no business being there? How do you protect their security and identity? Well, that, that can be a difficult task, and that's why we don't have just general open houses, because otherwise you would just have looky-loos walking through, just trying to see, you know, walk through a multi-million dollar mansion. So you have to be a little bit more uh, um, uh, reserved when you have your showings and your open houses and, and things like so that. You almost have to pre-qualify the people that are even coming to take a look at the house? Oh, absolutely. You, as I said, you have to make sure they're either qualified based on, on uh, you know, getting, obtaining a loan or they have the cash to be able to do it. You have to do that. So as far as getting this house actually sold or houses similar to it, how big of a challenge is that considering that your pool of buyers is so small? Well, it's, it, it, is, it is a challenge, but it's, it's also a fun challenge. I enjoy it. This particular house, I just recently got on an, a pilot for HGTV. The production crew was just down there uh, last week, and uh, it was a really fun day for us. Uh, it was an all-day shoot, so it's going to be fun. I hope that actually makes it on TV, HGTV. We'll keep a lookout for it. Michael Gaddis, thank you so much. By the way, if you want to get in touch with Michael Gaddis, we put all of his contact information on the screen right there for you. MichaelGaddis.com is the website, or find him on Facebook as well. Keep up the great work, and I'd be curious to know how fast you can get this particular home sold. Very exciting. Thank you so much. Right, thanks.